Someone's already in the Christmas mood. Oh yeah, movie. hello, Miss G. <laughs> hello. Did we call her what? Did you it's Christmas. Or? No, no, Kadi G. Kadi G. No, Kadi G is bullet. <laughs> oh, Shatawale it? says Kadi G is bullet, so it cannot be me. Really? Yeah. So, so what that name has been given to? Crystal uh, just gave you a name. Jijinga. I like it. <laughs> Let's do some showbiz stories. An American rapper Tia and wife arrived in Ghana last Sunday. They received a rousing welcome from the year of return secretariat. Later, the rapper was seen enjoying some moments with Cardi B. Yeah, at multimedia, oh sorry, media general. We still have hopes of having a conversation with him. However, Ti is seen in this video at the famous Cape Coast slave dungeon. The head of the, the, head of the Christian Church. Pope Nicholas at the time. That's who instituted the, the, the systemic. The That's right, the legalization, because you have to remember they had just come from under 700 years rulership of the Moors. And in 1492, mm -hmm. we are taught that 1492 is relevant to Columbus discovering America. But 1492 is relevant to the last African ruler ruling any territory in Europe. Meaning we felt Granada fell, Madrid had fell, and so Seville had fell, and so the last African king handed over to a Christian ruler, King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella, and that was in 1492. And immediately they handed the power over to the Pope, and that made Christians rule Europe again, and they expelled all the Moors. And with that, they started the expedition down into West Africa, and that culminated in the Pope actually criminalizing being African. If you were found to be an African and you were not Christian, you could be...